How large is the largest machine tool show in the world? Pretty big. So if you're gonna have an average stay here of three or four days, you only get about 30 seconds per vendor. And if the vendor takes up the whole hall, you gotta run pretty quick. Behind me is pretty easy. You only have one vendor, Mori. So you show up here and you could spend the whole day at their booth, which wouldn't give you a lot of time to look at any others. I'll show you what I can see in the Mori Hall where they have their entire city. Everything is specifically designed all around Mori and DMG machines. I have the CNC repair man. Are you a I'm gonna show you how the Niagara Falls is full of awesome. The doors open at 9 a.m. here and there's a ton of people right there ready to go. They open the gates at 9 and people are just bustling through. They have a bag check to make sure nobody's hauling in. I don't know what they'd haul in here, but uh, they're making sure everybody's bags are empty. So I found the compressor system that is running the entire machine shop. Very impressive. I wonder what type of pressures or what type of lines they're running, but Dang, we're talking some big stuff here. I wonder what type of CFM they're running. It looks like about nine and a half bar. It looks like a six inch flex line. This is obviously if you're gonna put in multiple compressors. I wonder if that's a filtration. I better not go over there, but dang. They've got a water drain system here. You can see it there, both of them. And the power, it's hard to say how much power they're using, but I'm sure it's 480. Today's day three, so I decided it's time to go to Maury City. And wow, wow, over the top. I'm making a video for each day while I was here and I was gonna put the Maury City tour into one of those videos. Not a chance. Go check out my whole video about Maury City because I was that impressed. As soon as I walked inside of the booth, it was met immediately. Cool, go check out the video, the whole video. But back to how big is this place? Uh, building after building, like 27 buildings. There's a bus that goes clockwise and a bus that goes counterclockwise. There are three main different entrances. How do you find your way around? Well, for someone who's colorblind, that's a joke. I mean, I can see some colors and figure out wires, but colors are not my favorite thing. So we've got an entrance at the south, and we've got one at the west. I didn't realize there was an east one, east two, and the north. So up here, this is where the main train comes in, and that direction up would be towards town. So for reference, Mori is in building two. I didn't even know there was 14, 15, and 16. If you're looking over here, they color code them, but they also thankfully give the hall location, so that's much helpful for me because I tell you what, me trying to match a color from here to a color from there, fat chance. If I can put two wires together, I can figure that out. But I'm getting ready to go see some people right now in building six. Hi, I am uh, Andre Arsani from Nitty Gritty SRL. We are here at the uh, EMO Hanover 2023 to show our Vellum air filters for uh, CNC machines, air compressors, and electrical motors, and chillers, and so on. In particular, in detail, we are introducing the Vellum Smart application, which is an automatic winder for Vellum filters. So basically, you apply it, you program it, and then it will move by itself. You don't have to think about it for over a year. And what's interesting is that it can be also controlled via a mobile application, when you get the green light, means that everything is all right. Then you can go in and you have all the information. The type of filter you're using, if it's Vellum or Vellum Air, the quantity of filter left, if it's working, the, the length of the movement of the steps, how much filter will change, how often it will change, now it's every day, and at what time it will start moving. So we can go ahead and just manually activate it. Yes, you can go inside, you have to put the password. Perfect. It runs very slow. Well, it has to be because uh, you have to put it normally, it's dirty, so, and it has to count how much it's moving, so it has to be slow. If it would be faster, then it could break the filter. Looks pretty initiative. Man, I love a good double column machine. The geometry on these is 
generally pretty easy. If you can get the X level, the head will come right in with a granite square. So really, really fun working on a double column machine. It's got a fan and control. Never heard of this company called Deed, but it's pretty cool to see a company bring such a big machine here instead of just putting a picture or a video of it on the wall. Got a rather small tool changer. You can see the hydraulic counterbalance up there. The double hoses, it's probably got big cooling tanks. Just one of the many fun, cool things to see here. Like this company, all they have is pictures. What do you know? Look at that guy. Notice they still have the Cosmoline on it. That's, that's my favorite. Super clean coolant system. High pressure coolant system, air system, tooling system, secondary filter system, chip evacuation, coolant, cooling, quite impressive. I'm standing out here in front of the gorgeous wooden expo center that was made for the World's Fair here. Really cool structure. I enjoy walking around and looking at it. It's a monster tower. The grounds here just are large, very, very large. So much that there's people everywhere. I'm always seeing other YouTubers or other people from news agencies here running around with cameras. So I'm not the only one, but it feels like there's a lot of us here doing that to show everybody else who's not here at the show what the show is like quickly realized that Hanover is nicknamed Germany's most boring town. We're here for business. We're here for the show. Imagine doing an alignment on that machine. DN Solutions or Doosan or if you're older, Daewoo. Pretty impressive booth here. They've got a lot of machines and they've really grown. They're a really good competitor for the other middle of the road machines price wise, but I think that they make a higher quality machine. And I'm just a fan of the Fanuc control. I think that it's very stable, the longevity and the fact that Fanuc will support it. It's 15 minutes before the Titans of CNC meet up here at the Blazer booth and there's already a lineup and people are coming around. Yesterday, the other booths called the police, but the fire department showed up and I was sitting outside when it happened. So this is quite the deal. I don't think these other booths knew what to expect. So you've probably heard me beat the drum about how small and how close knit this industry is. Right behind me is this crazy crowd, which everybody's here to see Titans of CNC. They're meeting at the Blazer booth, which is in building six. Yesterday, they had a meet and greet at another booth, and there were so many people the other booths called the police, which then the fire department showed up. There's someone who just ran up. I'll just show you how small this industry is. This is Alo. Hey! So we're just here waiting to meet Titan. But it's people who make this industry work, like Alo right here. Well, welcome to Emo Hanover, as they say uh, in German. Messi, Mossy. Mossy, Messe. 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 I'm not so, German. Yeah, I mean, this show is. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's overwhelming. It's I've never very been large. to a uh, show this this huge, but it's it's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I met great people. I met Aaron first. Ooh. I mean, we met a few years ago over on Instagram, Instagram. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And this is the first time we met in Germany. I'm yeah. Dutch. You're you're American. There you go. And uh, I'm looking forward to meeting new people and uh, all the fabulous uh, people around uh, here. Thankfully, no no cops have been called yet. No, 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 uh, I think, no. I think we're, we're doing, good. We're doing good, but uh, anyone who hasn't gone to uh, to this kind of show, do it. It's amazing. I would recommend it. it. It's, it's definitely recommendable. Enough cameras. Yes. <laughs> okay. The meet and greet has been going for about an hour now. It'll probably be going for another hour more. People just keep showing up. Now there is still a meet and greet going on, and I'm going to go over to some other buildings but I keep beating the same drum over and over again. What's crazy and how small this industry is, it's tight-knit people who know people who've worked in the industry for 30 or 40 years. So I'm waiting in line to go see Titan, realizing that I'm probably not gonna be able to shake his hand. I don't wanna wait around here an hour. So I see one of his other guys in the fancy Titan garb, and I run over, I go, I'll take a selfie with him. So I quick snap a selfie with him. We're standing back actually in the next booth over, and him and I start chatting it up, find out what he's done, how long he's been in the industry since the 90s. And I'm like, oh, where were you? He's like, yeah, I helped Titan build his shop up a little bit. We were selling machines and I was working in Bay Area. And I'm like, really, did you work for Selway? He's like, oh yeah, I was hired at Selway in 94. And I was like, so you probably know all the guys in service. And then pretty soon he's like, oh yeah, 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 I know Dave Moore. I'm like, well, do you know I'm his son? So what a small world. I've got his card, his name is Keith. Fabulous guy. Turns out the Titans just started doing a podcast, so I really want to 
work with them and figure out how to do some more how-to service stuff because I feel like they've done a pretty good job of making awareness about our industry and I'm trying to come at the service side and make awareness about the service side. So I just got out of the buildings here. I'm gonna head over to buildings three, four, and five and I'm gonna wrap up day three here at IMTS. <laughs> Emo, messed that one up. And it's also interesting to me that it seems the larger machine tool brands are getting larger, meaning they're trying to be more diverse with their machines, which in essence kind of puts out of business the small people. And I guess if you can make a machine that's multi-axis, very high quality, it doesn't take a whole lot to just put a grinding wheel on one. Here's a really nice automatic pallet loading system. And their control is very, very powerful. People I know who have them just love them. I don't get the chance to work on them very often because there's not a ton of them. Just wrapping up day three here, I've seen every building. I haven't seen every single booth, but a bunch of Instagrammers have all gotten together thanks to the Emo Show creators, and they gave us access to their lounge. And they're trying to find out how they can work with us and we can work with them and show them how to do more exciting things, how to get younger people involved like this right here. I grew up in this industry, and I think a lot of the people who watch Instagram and YouTube are younger, so I think the rest of us who are here, all of us who create content, we do it because we like what we do and we want other people to do it. That's kind of the whole reason why I'm doing it, training our kids to do it. but. That wraps up day three. Keep a lookout for day four and day five. I'm not done yet and there's a lot more to see at this show. Huh, Amos? A lot more to see.